Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well, well today. So, as you can tell by the title, so today we're going to be talking about basically this whole drama that's been going on recently. Or rather, Nader's issues or him going off on Gary Unfiltered and how all this started and why hey, this is and just give my thoughts and opinions. Now, I know that basically this has been going on for a hot minute, but usually like, anyone who knows me knows that like I usually like to see how some things tend to turn out before I even give my opinions or I talk about it, if that makes any sense. So like you, so that's why like I did not jump on the, this topic right away because I said, okay, let me see how this plays out before basically I give my thoughts and opinions. So yeah, like I said, so anywho, so that's why I did not go too fast. But anywho, so I'm pretty sure if you're not full on aware or if you're basically he like so basically let's just go back and talk about how how this all started okay so in basically a live stream stream nader and was it was it nader was basically sitting there saying and i want to say it was around the time of like when we first found out that he had a court date he about you know what i'm saying he had a that he had the him and may anderson actually had a court date that he basically was like oh i'm gonna donate to i'm gonna donate to cancer now like I said, to me personally, my thought process with behind this is, is that it was kind of, it's kind of twofold. Okay. One, basically, I feel like he, he sat here and he basically essentially, actually was trying to do something good because he knew that, because I think if I remember correctly, Foodie had basically brought it up the trial. So oh, basically we knew that it was coming up to we knew that basically you know we are literally less than maybe a, a few like maybe a couple now weeks away from august 3rd which is basically his court date he and so he's trying to do everything he can to quote unquote make himself look better in the public eye, eye before basically mind you i don't know why exactly he wants to try to look good in the public eye to youtube when it's like sweetie you kind of want to basically look good out to the judge but you know again Case the rock, right? So basically, he wanted to try to look good. Second fold about all this is that I think the where he got specifically cancer from, and this is where, or like I said, it's kind of even more where it starts to become a little bit more fucked up. Now we know both him and Foodie, right? They essentially, basically, he, you know, they they was I said they peep Monty, right? They be peeping Monty a lot. And I think, and this is just me, I think that the reason why, why he specifically chose cancer was because if you're not aware, Monty, you know, basically has been promoting and helping being one of his viewers. Her name is It's My Ray Ray. If I can get a link, I'll basically link down below oh, her GoFundMe for, her, you know, to help with her cancer tre treatment because right now she's going through, through chemo and all that stuff. And so I think, think that that's where or he specifically had gotten cancer from and why he basically chose to say cancer because of that because of that particular reason which I mean even though that that it's just it's kind of it's just messed up it's not but okay you know what I'm saying it's like bruh uh, like for real and in the live stream he says for verbatim that he will match it's basically he will match like I said he will be basically everything that is basically donated will be matched Hatched. and you know he'll do and it's just like you have and when you say stuff like that i know some people may try to say well oh but you know he basically may not know how to say certain things but when it comes to specifically charity he yes people are going to be very particular about oh you know how you word things and basically hey if you say that you're going to donate everything from the this and match it then yes you need to do that you know i mean hell i know here in the united states you know there you know charity fraud's a real thing and that you can get into some trouble if you are found to be you know committing charity fraud so oh that's why it's like you have you know that's why you have to be so careful with how you word things things so yeah he basically said that he would way donate all the proceeds and match it well when it basically came time for him to actually donate oh boy now mind you he basically donated about uh was it about a hundred and was it he wasn't he only about fifty dollars but he made about oh i want to say 
a hundred and nineteen dollars. Like li I'm like, yeah, he made a hundred and nineteen dollars and some change. And it's like, dude, where's the rest of the money? And plus, if you now mind you, a hundred and nineteen is what he made. He was supposed to basically match that. Which means that he was supposed to at least be he donating at least what? About Oh, I want to say $238. That was supposed to be what, uh, if he actually matched it, if I'm doing the math correctly. Like I said, it, I'm just doing a little bit of quick math here in my head. head. But yeah, it should have been about two hundred and yeah, $238. But when he literally donates, he only donates about $50. Now, I'm not going to basically get on him for donating to... um. Or was it basically donating to children's cancer in Egypt? I mean, hey, you know, that's where he's from. Help your community any which way you can. And if you can help, like I said, I mean, again, I'm, I'm not going to knock him for that. But what I will knock him for is the fact that it's like we have the receipts, sis, of how much you actually made. And literally that you basically did not, um, you know, you did not basically donate everything that was basically made because you made way more plus on top of that that you did not match it like the things that you said so you can't sit here here and be upset when people basically call you out like the likes of gary and eerie pepperoni when <laughs> on you essentially scamming like you know again i don't usually like to use that particular term for specific reasons if you know me you know why i don't like you using that word loosely i don't but I have to say, this is the definition of a scam. This right here, what like, he did was a scam. And he cannot basically, he say that he did not. Because it's like, dude, you did not match it. Because as one, if, so you're saying that basically now, oh, all you made that night was quote unquote $50. And you sat here and gaslit lit, when you got called out and tried to basically, you know, sit here and you didn't play a every single little clip that Gary showed or whether you did, you basically specifically talked over certain parts. So that way people would not hear what Gary was saying, which, like I said, again, that's a, like I said, that's a very big gaslighting tactic. Or rather, it rather, I would say a gaslighting tactic used in YouTube who you know what I'm saying? Like, when someone wants to basically push a narrative, that's a very known thing. And it's just like, dude, you know, you're not basically, like, I'm sorry. No. Even if you want to say that maybe you, you know, your English is not the best, you have to, like I said, when it comes to charity, you have, when you say, you have to be so transparent down to the T to the point where it's just like, it's not even funny. You have to basically be transparent. And that's just the God honest truth about it. When it comes to donating or giving any forms of funds, you you can't just sit here and basically be a fugazi about it. Because when you're not, because when you are not, I, you know what I'm saying? When Like I said, when you're sitting here doing ducking and dodging and you basically doing all this gaslighting, no. Nah, it sends up a lot of red flags. And that's why, like I said, I know here, at least in America, there are laws against charity fraud as well as I'm pretty sure in Canada, there are probably laws against that too. So, oh yeah, you gotta be careful with that shit, bruh. Huh? But then again, at the same time, does it surprise me that he basically scammed his audience? No, because let's be real here, okay? He learned from the best scammer on how to scam from you. At least scamming on YouTube. He can scam in life, but he didn't know how to scam on YouTube. But he learned from the best. And her name is Chantal Marie, okay? A.K.A. Foodie Beauty, okay? He learned from the best scammer out there on YouTube. Because I'm sorry, to me, his whole channel really is a scam. He's sitting there talking about he can basically be a chef and he can cook. And I'm like, sis, we've seen multiple times that you can't cook. But you know what? Hey. You know, scam, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, you know, I mean, I ain't going to say scammers recognize scammers. Because, I mean, hell, look, Lord, because, like I said, I mean, I've never scammed nobody, okay? Look, I'm, look, I'm to contrary of what people will want to try to basically, quote, unquote, say, no, I've never basically run a scam, scam. But basically, like I said, I'm like, but, you know, it's easy to see where a scam would basically be a, a scam. And I'm just like, yes, sis. That's a scam. Yeah, to me, this is a full-on scam. So, I'm just saying. But, <laughs> anywho.
so of course, you know, when basically he, he gets called out, he's he really goes on his, you know, ever was it was it everlasting hate boner or rather just boner for Gary, which honestly is a low key a little bit of alarming. I mean, he ha- the boner he has for Gary is any bigger boner I've ever had for a man, and so it's a little bit alarming in my opinion. But that's just me. Anywho. So he goes on, he basically sits here, he, dra- you know, he goes on talking shit about Gary. I won't even, like I said, has said, and my, like, was it, um, not even just one, but like two videos now. Like I said, basically, like I was saying, he basically, he took the video where Gary basically, he had talked about, oh, you know, that was, it had talked about his scam and literally talked over certain parts so that way people would not hear him and basically did not show certain parts because again, he wants to paint a, he wants to paint a particular narrative. Also, oh, as well too, he ba- like, also though too, then recently, I want to say last night, he well, as of, you know, like I said, as of me recording last night, he sits here and he goes on this whole, whole video talking about, oh, Gary cried like a real man. And it's like, what do you mean by Gary cried? Hey, like a real man, sir, or you need to stop. I didn't want to sit there and want to judge him and want to, you know, what was it want to judge him and for basically being on some form of assistance. Now I will say this again. Now, normally I don't, like I said, I would not normally t- do a video talking about anyone who I am particularly familiar with or rather, cause you know, again, it's just not something that I like to do or a situation that I'm very much in the know about, but I will say this much, much without saying, you know, Gary's business. Gary has paid more rent than what you have paid in the 11, almost 12 years that you have basically been in on YouTube or rather, excuse me, that you've been in, in Canada, sir. Okay. So the, like I said, so the moment you can make a rent payment, then you then come and talk, talk about somebody. But until you can actually do that and not be a grifter and not be out here scamming the girls, who's like actual girls, who's yeah, no. Get the fuck out of here, sir. Okay? Hey, you have no right to come at anybody or to talk about anybody being on anything when, sir, you were... And also, though, too, not too recently, you were on assistance. Like, dude. (laughs) So, how are you going to basically come at anybody or even talk about anybody? I mean, sir, uh, (laughs) you were on assistance and was sitting here pocketing all this money from foodie. So... Again, you have no room. You literally have next to no room to talk, you know. Oh, but God, man, y'all. Natter just... <laughs> this man sometimes... He is like... You know, Foodie knows how to pick him. I'll say that. Because this man, even of himself, is just... I won't even say he's a law cow yet. But he is such a meme, even of itself. Hulf. And just literally, he is such a joke. And literally, like, when I say I can just laugh, I just laugh at everything about him because it's like, he really is so full of himself to the point where, like, he thinks he's a real man. I'm a real man. And it's like, <laughs> okay, you're a real man. And and the fact that he keeps using that phrase, real man, and it's just like, bruh, he is that level of toxic masculinity that is so oh, hilarious to the point where, like, you have to, you can't do nothing thing but just laugh at him. Because it's like, you're, you, you are, when it comes, when you think about, oh, any form of masculinity, he, everything you think of, he is not. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, it's like, you know, you think of strong, he is not. You know, and, you know, was it provider, he is not. You know, <laughs> oh, basically caring or even, not even just, yeah, caring, he is not. You know what I'm saying? Like, just n- n- literally everything when you think of a man who is a, like a you know when you think of a man and what a man is supposed to be he is not he's literally not any of that literally like, do a checklist he does not check any of the, those boxes so whenever he goes on these rants about real man it's just so funny to me and it's like honestly like is it up like look sometimes he literally makes me laugh more than what foodie does you know what i'm saying because if anything growing up and i'll say this really quick thing before i go so growing up he really mimics a lot of like 
the like males that were around me that were like you know was always kind of like trying to like diss me because like oh I wasn't quote unquote a real man I this is what a man is supposed to be da 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 right and how like oh well because since you know I was gay and this that and the third I was basically not a real me man and it's just like it's just so funny because it's like dude <laughs> like. I mean, fuck. Look, I'll say it like this. The I'll say it like this. The like I said, the toxic men, you know, and the homophobes that were coming at me, they even basically provided more than what you do. I mean, at least they went out and actually had a job and at least provided. So I mean, that's where, or like I said, it's just funny because I'm like, the people who said that kind of shit to me. Now, mind you, they can all go fuck off, but. When it comes down to it, it's just like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, bruh, even they did more than you. So, yeah. yeah I just, I don't know. <laughs> I can't. But like I was saying before, you guys, anyway, down below, I'm going to basically get a link for It's My Ray Ray's Cancer Fund. If you guys want to basically do that, have as well as also, if you guys basically want to, like I said, I will also probably find, like, a chair or something that basically you can go and you can send a link to if you want to basically go and donate into that as well. Because, like I said, when it comes to, specifically when it comes to cancer, one thing you will, you was it, like I said, you should know about me. I don't play it when it comes to that. I lost a really dear family member back in 2012 due to that. And it devastated me. It really crushed me. And, like, I don't play when it comes to cancer. And, you know, like I said... Hey, you know, it, it's not cute. It's not funny. And, you know, like I said, and, you know, and I did see where, you know, Gary and a few other people had basically donated to Rain. And I think that is so amazing and so great. Hey, and like I said, and I will also even leave leave a ding, link down below if you want to donate to Rain as well. And yeah, like, let's actually, you know, do some real good out there and actually help some people and not be out here trying to scam the girls. Okay. Hey, like I said, also down below, if you want to basically, I said also down below is going to basically be links of other content creators that I basically think you guys could go and support or again, you know, well, I, like I said, if anything, the, like I said, these people are great, amazing. And yeah, you guys, until next time, you guys, guys take care of yourselves and bye. You say that I'm psychotic. But then you like it like that It's like every time the conversation changes And I want you right back, right back You say